How are you all? As you know, this is where you can get your crypto fix. I'm Ripple Van Winkle, and I'm your boss. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. It's early. I got out of bed just now. I slept in. Take a look, the alarm went off at six. I rolled over. I took a look. I told them it was Saturday. Tonight I went back to bed. I feel like the day is over. This is new to me. All of my YouTube work would have been done. I would have eaten breakfast already. If I were being honest, I think I would have been getting ready for a nap right now. There would have been two walks for my dog. I have no idea what to do. 9 a.m. on the day's first video. But hey, it's the weekend now. I hope that everyone has great things planned for today. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay out in the sun, maybe by the pool. Everything at this place is about half price, including lunch, dinner, drinks, and more. It doesn't matter when you go. Might go there because the pizza is so good and only $9 for a big one. Last time we got a buffalo chicken, and it was great. Have a few drinks and watch some preseason football. It also has a small patio outside. If I want it to be a little riskier, I'll go outside and sit. I'm not sure. I think that sounds great. After that, I might have to go back and jump in the pool. We'll figure it out. Watch how the day goes. I hope you have something just as great planned for yourself. We are going to talk about the Rippleverse SE case in this episode. That's the most important news. The SEC was not going to appeal, as I said and said. That is the newest news around here. Those are the newest rumors. Worries are not what I want to say. It has the newest news stories. We got the word out that this is it, people, and why would they go back on their word? It doesn't make sense. The SEC has no reason to argue. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that again. Finally, we will take a look at the Ripple Steady coin. This coin is still in beta and on testnet. The XRP system and Ethereum are both being used to test it. Let's get right to a Bitcoin $60,732 deal. It has been flat for the past 24 hours. Ethereum is now worth $2,626, which is 0.38% less than it was yesterday. With both USDTA and USDC coming in at their dollar pegs, things are going just the way we want them to. And the next one is RP, wow. I mean, I'm trying to blow it and get 60 cents here. It is now at 0.59, which I think is a nice number. Let's get back on track and try to attack 66 cents again so we can finally get a push up to 75 cents. Yesterday, we tried to attack the 64 cent level, but were brutally denied and we went back down to 57 cents, but now we're on the rise again. Take a look at some of these other assets we have going out there. There are so many really good buys right here. Polka dot, the ICPX LMH bar file or chain link file, Christ. There are a lot of attractive buys out there, people, wonderful. Would love to see it, the numbers show that Bitcoin is now ready to go for the 75,000 level, which is its 25% recovery from the $62,000 level. Since the FTX crash two years ago, this sudden rise happened during one of the most wild weeks for the cryptocurrency markets. It's not true. That is not true at all. It seems like only a month ago that we had a crazy unstable week. What was it two months ago? That is not true at all. Anyway, Bitcoin fell 20% to $49,000 on Monday, but has since gotten better a lot. Sentiment, an intelligent platform says that the sudden rise took many traders off guard. As a result, the experts told people in the market to be ready for more excitement, which could push Bitcoin up to $75,000 in the short term and bring Ethereum back down to $3,500. I've already talked about this a lot on this channel. It's like the bottom of Bitcoin. Will there be another bad dip like this? 99.99% .99 of the time? No. Okay, this was the part where the banks were looking for cash. They found it. For the last time, they loaded up. The rest of this year and the beginning of next year are both very, very strong. Will there be changes along the way? 100%. Is that the end of the bull run? 100%. Doesn't. I don't want you to get scared when you see Bitcoin go through the roof and climb to over 90,000. Then it starts to go down again and you'll be like, holy crap, the bull just ran over. It's not what goes up. It has to go down to be tested again and then it will go back up. We made a plan, right? The rise is coming in August and September. This run, this crash flush, this move out is the move that will get us above 74,000 if something goes wrong. The move is then coming, you know, this year. Don't change anything. Mm. Okay, I can't. I am not going to choose times any longer. I, I have it. About two weeks after August, in September, the move takes place when it does happen. It will be fast and strong. The event will last for a few weeks. After that, we'll see a fix. We will see a bounce back and a pounce back up in Q4 and then by the end of the year. This will last until March or April 2025. There's still more to run. When tax time comes around, 
a lot of people sell what they need to do. After the dip, it's summertime. That's when I think a lot of your altcoins will do their soaring blow off tops in the summer of 2025. That's how I play. I'm going to stick to that. Obviously things change and when it comes to crypto, things change a lot. We'll add something new to that. Paul, this is a lawyer for Coinbase. I'm the chief legal officer. It doesn't say that secondary sales of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or XRP are security transactions. It says that secondary sales of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or XRP are not security transactions. All of my friends at the SEC say that everyone else is. That's too bad because you got an environment just right. Right on. Now you can highlight. This is big. The SEC decides not to fight Ripple's decision. It says that the SEC has decided not to appeal Judge Torres' decision in Ripple's favor, which is a big win for the cryptocurrency business. There has been a lot of talk and speculation in the crypto community about this move. Stuart Alderati, Ripple's main lawyer, made the announcement. Within 30 days, Ripple will pay a $125 million fine, and the SEC has 60 days to fight the decision. Ripple pays, and the deal is done as soon as the SEC takes the money. Okay, Ripple said they would pay, and the SEC pretty much agreed. They're going to move on. See how the SEC sees us. That's what they want. They got all four decisions in their favor. Ripple got all the things they wanted. The SEC asked for 94% more money than they got, but they still think they won. There are people on Twitter who say, I've never seen anyone win when they had to pay something, but that doesn't make sense. You can win even though you have to pay a fee. What if someone wants $2 trillion for me and all I have to give them is a million dollars? That's not a win, right? That's a loss, right? Where do you come from? That doesn't even make sense. That is a huge whim. That is the same as getting a ticket for speeding and they give you a $130 ticket for speeding. Don't ask me why I chose that number. When you go to court to protest, the judge tells you to pay $20. Good job, that is a big win. What would you do if you went to court and the judge said, look, you know what you were doing? You were caught in the act, we have video proof. 130, I think you'll pay 200, it costs you more when you leave the store. That's a loss. Some people are going to try to twist this story, folks. They have started a war on crypto that's being fought in the courts. I believe they lost all the things that were important to them. The court flatly refused to accept the idea that a token, in this case XRP, can be thought of as a security. The court said that what is a symbol is never. Something that is safe by itself, just like a bar of gold, is not a safety. Yes, you can put goods or virtual currencies in a package and sell them as stocks. They're not guarantees, though, on their own. That's the main clarity we were looking for in this case. And the setting look, people, Stuart Alderati is a very smart guy. RLUSD is then put through a lot of tests. Ripple said this straight from the horse's mouth. We are happy to say that Ripple USD is now in private test on both the XRP ledger and the mainnet of Ethereum. Since the RLUSD hasn't been approved by the government yet, it can't be bought or sold. Be wary of con artists who say they have or can give out Ripple USD. I don't understand why you would even try to buy this. The point is stable. Yes? What makes you want to buy this? It's not like the price will go through the roof when it comes out. It's a peg, it's a safe dollar. The second thing is that it's in test. The next step is to get approval. I expect that by October, this thing will be live and running. I think it will take a big bite out of Tether and USDC over the years. This looks like it could be a base pair. If it's going to be on Coinbase, I think it will be an uphold. I think Gemini will also list it. As soon as people start to bridge money or switch between cryptocurrencies, things will get interesting. This is because sending Tether from one market to another costs a lot of money. RLUSD could be used on the XRP network by some people. You know that XRP is used in every transaction on the XRP system. That's it, folks. Come on, wash your hands. Treat each other with kindness. Waves Now Ben Winkle is free.